I'ma let it be known that I believe that you a star. That you a star. And no matter what, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Cause you can be whatever you can be. You want, whatever you want. That's right, you can be. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Nez. And um I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about properly warming up. I was in the gym and I was doing legs today. And I've noticed in the past that when I didn't actually like warm up as far as like doing leg extensions, leg curls, and things of that nature to actually warm my muscles up, that I had an issue with squatting. Like uh, my hip flexor would aggravate me, uh, my hamstring would aggravate me, and it was it was just a whole host of things that would aggravate me during my squat. So I, I, I started to begin to think that like, yo, maybe I shouldn't be squatting. So I started going to leg press. Um, but I did something different today. I started warming up um, on the leg curls and the leg extensions before I got into my actual squat. Now, mind you, before I even get into anything, any type of movement, I'm on a treadmill walking for about 10, 12 minutes. So I'm already warming myself up actively before I even go to a machine or any type of equipment. I'm on the treadmill warming up. So... <clears throat> I'm doing everything properly, but I'm doing the right steps. But it was just that I needed that extra, extra move movement. Um, so I think when you're doing your movements and stuff, before you get into any type of exercise, like dynamic stretching is key. Um, dynamic stretch, or you can actually just go on a machine and like lightly lift the weight. You know, kind of get it in that range of motion that you're going to be doing for maybe your squat or your deadlift or whatever. You know, start off with that. And I think that that helped a lot, a tons a lot. Like when I got to squat, my legs was already ready. It was warm. I can get low. I can get in the hole when I'm doing my squat and I felt comfortable doing it. So <clears throat> I think if you're doing static stretching, um, static stretching before you do any type of movement, like no, uh -uh, cut that out. Like do your actual dynamic stretching and that's when you're actually moving the muscle that you're working so like right here this would be like a dynamic stretch because you're moving now if i was just to hold this like over my head or whatever that's a static stretch understand that a dynamic is when you're moving it you're stretching it but you're moving it trying to get the blood flow um a static is when you're holding it so be mindful if you want to do a static stretch i would say do that at the end of your workouts. You're already warm. There's blood pumped in your muscles. And you're like, you're nice. You're good. You're ready to go for a static stretch. And at the end of your workout, man, you already got a nice sweat. So I think that's ideal. <clears throat> so I just wanted to uh, put that out there. Um, because there might be some people that have that same situation going on. Where you feel like you can't actually get... Um, you, you feel like something's hurting when you're squatting and stuff like so that could be the reason why so I would say <clears throat> dynamic stretch or warm up with your actual machine or whatever you're using warm up with that all right so I hope this helped you guys man if y'all got any questions man feel free to uh, hit me on my YouTube or my Instagram I have the link in the description below um, make sure you subscribe for more videos. I got a lot of videos coming, man. I'm trying to keep them coming as much as possible um, and just help everybody out. So if you got any questions, any concerns or something, or you want to, you know, know something, something in specific, you know, to you, I mean, don't, don't hesitate, man. Drop a comment, you know, send me a message, whatever. All right. So hope y'all found that helpful. Um, I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Peace. Baby, I got it. You know I got it.